The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? ClickWood here back again with episode four of the Road to Red. Now, guys, today we're actually going to be doing something. We're going to get our first upgrade through the actual head-to-head -head seasons. We did win our previous game. I asked you guys to leave some comments below and give me some suggestions on who to upgrade to. A couple people suggested to upgrade quarterback, and that was something that I really strongly considered. I decided not to, though, because I actually think that this Matt Sims is actually quite underrated. If you look at his throwing accuracy, other than the throw accuracy deep, he's very, very good. Throw accuracy short and throw accuracy mid. As far as bronze cards, if you compare them to all of the silvers out there for the most part, there's hardly anybody who's a major upgrade from this Matt Sims. So again, what I decided to do was not go in the direction of Dak Prescott, not go in the direction of Johnny Manziel, but to actually go in the direction of upgrading a position that we already have a silver at to get a, ourselves into a gold. So currently we have TJ Carey here as our number one cornerback. He's a 70 overall. What I want to do is get somebody who's just a little bit better so that hopefully we can match up and stop some of those receivers that are a little bit better. So what I decided to do was actually go out and get ourselves a Jason Verrett. Now Jason Verrett is an 83 overall. So that is a huge upgrade, 13 points overall upgrade. That is a massive, massive upgrade. And we're going all the way up to a 90 for speed, which is a two upgrade. The zone coverage is going up 13. The man coverage is going up 20. This is a huge, huge upgrade. And one of you guys recommended this card in the comment section below. So uh, yeah, this is the one that we're going to. I think this is going to be a really nice option for us. And uh, it is going to help our team out quite a bit, I think, defensively to be able to have one cornerback that I can at least trust a little bit on the defense. So with that being said, guys, we're going to be going into our next game. This is game number two of the season. We're going to try and get a W. If we can do it, we're going to be obviously upgrading our team one more spot from either a bronze to a silver, silver to a gold, or a gold to an elite. So wish us some luck and we'll try and make it happen. And it looks like my opponent's got a bunch of limited edition players or limited use players. So uh, fortunately for me, he doesn't have anything really crazy. But unfortunately for me, he's got a couple of really good players that are probably going to be very difficult for me to exploit uh, and make plays against. Okay, guys, first play of the game on defense. All right, come on. We've got to make a play here early. Set the tone. There we go. Fua hitting him in the backfield. Let's go, baby. Two yard, three yard loss on that one. Hopefully he'll uh, pass here and we can get a user pick. That would be amazing. Nope, counter play there by him. He's jumping with his running back, which seems very dangerous to me. I don't know what he's doing with that, but it looks like it's going to be now a third and seven. So this should be a passing situation. Hopefully we can make a stop here or maybe even get an interception. Time to try and make some plays here. That should be good. Let's go. Oh, that should have been a fumble. Come on. How is that not a fumble? What the hell was that? So it is fourth down. It looks like my opponent's going to punt here. So we're getting the ball at least early in this one. We made a nice stop on the first drive of the game. And he is going to fake it. Somehow I knew that was coming. And we make the stop. That was a crazy play. I don't know what the hell that even was. My opponent's not going to quit, it looks like. So we're going to have the ball here at the 28-yard line. Kind of wish he would have so he could have gotten a free upgrade. But we'll still take it nevertheless. It's going to be a nice pass there to the edge to Jackson. Picking up an easy 11 yards there. Simple, easy peasy. Definitely like to see it to start the game. All right, guys. Second play. Look how many guys he has near the defensive line here. He's really pulling everybody up to the line. So hopefully we can make a play here. We've got a man. We've got a man. Let's go. Touchdown. Woo! -hoo! First drive. Touchdown. We are up six to nothing after making the stop on defense. And we score in two plays. Good start to the game for us. And hopefully we can continue that going forward. Short gain by my opponent there on first down. Hopefully we can uh, make another play here. I think he's going to try and run. Nope, he is passing. We're bringing the pressure, though, and he throws it right at us. Let's go, baby. Spin move. Oh, all right. Taken down at about the 22-yard line, though. This might be the rage quit now. This might be. We brought the pressure up the middle with our user. Are we going to get the rage quit? Are we going to get the rage quit? 
Yes, we get the quit. So that is going to give us a free upgrade, guys. That is a huge start for us. And we'll see what we should upgrade. I'm going to have to take a look at some things and see if we can find anything good to upgrade. But that was a really nice game for us. And we're now 2-0 and in the season. So very, very nice start. All right, guys, so we got the W. We're going to play one more game in today's episode because obviously that was a really short game. So what we're going to do here is upgrade our quarterback. Now, this is one that you guys recommended. I mentioned before that we didn't go with Dak Prescott. We didn't go with Johnny Manziel. The card that we're actually going to upgrade to is a guy that I didn't even really realize was uh, somebody that I could use. And, uh, I mean, I actually think I might be okay with this guy. This guy is named uh, Mark. I don't know if I'm going to botch this or not. Berkovici, I think is how you pronounce it. But take a look at these attributes, guys. Crazy stuff here. He's getting a nice upgrade for us at throw power, throw accuracy short, throw accuracy mid, and especially throw accuracy deep. So we're definitely going to be a lot more effective with this guy. What's funny is that this card is pretty good across the board. The thing that it's bad in is nine awareness. This card has nine awareness. My dude, my dude, you have nine awareness. Like, how did that even happen? Like, look at this thing. Like, I, I have no words. How how does it have nine awareness? Like, did he like, did he like trip and fall on the way into the game every day or something? Like, I, I don't even understand what the hell could have happened to give him nine awareness. But thankfully, awareness doesn't really matter when you're user controlling a player as far as I know. So we're going to try this card out and see if he can be anything good for us. I don't know if he's good. Great. If he's not, we're screwed. But I think it's worth trying him out and seeing if we can get anything going with this guy as our quarterback. So one more game, guys, and uh, we'll try and up make one more upgrade in today's episode. All right, guys, here we go. We're playing against Habdi587, and look at him. He has a Marvin Harrison. He has, like, many, many elite players. This guy's obviously got a super stacked team. This is probably not going to be a good game for us, but... We'll try and do our best, man. I don't even know what we can do against that kind of a lineup, but we'll see what we can do. All right, guys. First play of the game. Got to try and move the ball here on offense. Let's go. What the hell? Why didn't you catch that? That was a perfect throw. Wow. I have no words for that. I, I don't even know what just happened. So after that first down, random incompletion, like I don't even know what the hell just happened on that play. Hopefully, we can continue to get things going here. And we find a man. It's Conley over the middle. Nice gain there. 21 yards on second down. So, we're in we're in near the 50-yard line anyway. All right. Another first down here. We've got a man open in the flats. That should be an easy pickup. Let's go. I'm a little bit worried about fumbling the ball anytime that I have it right now. Second and two here. Going to try and hit him with some Z-spot. Oh my gosh, terrible protection. His user was just perfect on that play. He came all the way across the field to play that, man. No words. Okay, guys, it's third and 12 after we took that sack, so hopefully we can get some protection here. I'm going to do my best here to try and make my guys protect. I don't know if they're going to be able to, though. All right. I don't know where to go with the ball. Like He's got an elite corner over there on the left. He's got elites just everywhere. This is, this is tr just tragic right now. And yeah, ugh. we had the guy there, but his guy just made a perfect play on it, unfortunately. So we are going to have to punt the ball here on fourth down. That is not a good play for us. Gosh, I wish we wouldn't have freaking got sacked there on, on second down. All right, so first and 10 for my opponent. We couldn't get anything going on offense. Well, we got a little bit going, but unfortunately, it was not enough. So, all right, I think he's going to run the ball here. Pretty sure he's going to be running. Yep. And he gets off the edge, and we get him in the backfield. Nice play defensively. Let's go. All right, second and 13. Probably going to be a pass here. Ah, oh, good play. Ah, I just, my guys are just so slow that I can't even try to keep up with that guy. We just had to try and make it look like we were trying to keep up with him, but he got there uh, pretty easily for a nice gain there. All right, third and three. Is my opponent going to run? Yes, he is. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. Can't really complain there. I had dime defense. I was... Out of position there, unfortunately. Is he going to try and run it again, though? Doesn't look like he's going to run. And we stop him there. Nice. All right. One yard gain there for Lamar Miller. My opponent is definitely trying to run the ball. He hasn't been very effective with it quite yet. He's going to try and run it again here. And he's got plenty of room here. Damn it. Just as I say that, he's going to break off a huge run. 
Uh, his guys are just so much better that, like, if he just gets any room, it's just going to be a huge gain. I almost think dime coverage is going to be better for me to stop the run, as asinine as that sounds. Just how Madden is these days. Come on. Oh, he was right there for it. Why did he not pick that? Oh, come on. Okay, first down. Is he going to try and run again? He's ran, I think, every first down so far, I think. Another, nope, he's definitely passing. This time he threw it right at us. No, that should have been an interception. Why? Come on, guys. Wow, we're getting robbed right now, man. I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. He's going to run here, and it's, that's going to be a touchdown. We just, ugh. Our guys just got murdered there in the blocking. Oh, he missed the extra point, though. Nice. All right, so that's at least going to keep us within a score. Uh, if we get a touchdown here, we can take the lead. So not, not the end of the world. All right, guys, we're back on offense. We got to try and make some plays here offensively. All right, come on. There we go. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. All right, well, at least it's like a nine-yard gain, though. Let's try and hit him with a screen pass here. He's ran zone coverage every play so far. So I kind of feel like we're going to be able to make a play. Yep, there we go. Get that. Yes, let's go. Run, baby, run. Run. Juke. Let's go. Oh, we nearly broke that thing for the touchdown. That was such a sick juke. Okay, guys, first and 10 here. Looking for a man over the middle. Going to try and take off with our quarterback here and just pick up some short yardage. We got the first down, I think, there, actually. Or we're pretty close, anyway. Okay, second and one here. Going to try and pass to pick this up. Hopefully, he'll leave. Yep, I knew he was going to leave the flats wide there. Let's go. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Now, we just need to get the extra point, and we have the lead. Let's go. Another run. Nope, he is passing. He's got a man. And we force the fumble, and we get the recovery inside the red zone. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, we're going to try and run the ball for the first time this game. Haven't had great luck in the past running the ball with this team, but we'll try it here. And, yeah, it's pretty much just, yeah, pretty much just plod forward and try and pick up some yardage. So, Tim Hightower is a good option there, actually. Okay, maybe we can get some blocking here on the edge. That would be huge if we can pick up the edge blocking to, to get the touchdown here. And he is going to, oh, damn it. No blocking there, really, unfortunately. Going to try and pass this one into the end zone. Hopefully, we can make the play. Oh, damn it. Ah, that guy broke on the ball just perfectly. So, we'll take our field goal here to go up four, though. That's going to at least put us ahead by more than a field goal, which is going to be a very important thing, I think, going forward in this game. And there it is, guys. And the field goal. So, uh, I hate being inside the red zone that close to the end zone because I can't really pass the ball very effectively. Like, everybody just makes amazing plays on the ball in this game. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we pretty much have to run the ball. And unfortunately, our offensive line is so terrible that everybody gets through. So it makes it very difficult to run the ball inside the red zone. We pretty much have to catch them off guard to run the ball. So, yeah, but we'll take the field goal, though. I'm happy about that. Come on. Pressure again gets in there. Nearly forces another fumble. That would have been amazing. This guy wants to go deep so badly in that post. So badly. Gonna run? Nope. Come on, throw it. Oh my gosh, why is he throwing this? And of course. Oh, he nearly came up with it, man. So frustrating. We have him double covered, for goodness sake. Come on. Is he gonna take off and run? He is. Yes, let's go, man. We sent that corner on, and that was a really risky play because that guy was wide open, but thankfully he didn't see it. So, guys, it's 4th and 10, and my opponent is going to go for it here. Kind of a risky play, but if we make the stop here, man, we might be able to uh, get a rage quit here, which would be beautiful. He's going to go deep. Come on, Cromartie. Let's go. Let's go. 4th down. We make the stop, and we get the ball now at the 25-yard line. Huge play for us defensively. We make the play in coverage. Got to love it, man. We just got to walk away with some points here on this drive, guys. We really, really do. There it is. J.J. Nelson. Oh, why? Oh, I wish my running back would have picked up that block. But still, we get a first down. That is a good play for us. Now we're down to the two-minute warning, so we can run just a little bit of clock here and try and make it so that my opponent doesn't have much time to do anything with the ball when he gets it back. All right, we ran the screen pass earlier, and it worked really, really well. So I'm going to try it again, I think, right here, guys. 
Hopefully we can get things going. And let's see here. We got room. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, man. All right. We're at least down to the five-yard line, though. Very, very close now to the red zone or to the end zone. All right, guys. All right, guys. Third and three. I am going to run the ball here because worst case scenario, my opponent's going to have to at least take a timeout, I think. So, uh, and then we'll be able to kick a field goal to go up by a full touchdown. But hopefully we can pick up the first down or even the touchdown here. We're going to try and run a counter play. See if we can get anything going here. And it looks like we're into the end zone. That was a perfect play call. He had all of his guys slanted to the right there. And we are into the end zone now. 17 if we can kick the extra point to 6. Despite the fact that we all have pretty much a mostly bronze squad. So that is a big, big play for us. First half's looking very, very good. Okay, my opponent's been pretty much passing the ball every single play. Uh, I don't know why he's decided to do that after running the ball worked pretty well for him early in the game. But, uh, yeah, he's definitely doing that. Nice play defensively. He made a really good play call there. But, fortunately, I don't know what it was. Our guy just was in the perfect position to make a play on that screen. I definitely like seeing that. I'm going to keep trying to bring pressure on him, man. Because this guy's made some mistakes. So, hopefully, we can uh, get him to, to throw an interception here. That would be amazing. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, you're not there. Oh, you're too slow. And he's going to celebrate. Yeah, great play, kid. Great play. Yeah, your Marvin Harrison beat my bronze corner. Congratulations. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe he held on to that. That was nice. Come on. There we go. There you go, Conley. Make up for the fact that you dropped that one before. All right, we're close to field goal position here now. Yes, I'm abusing halfback wheel, but hey, you kind of have to do what it takes sometimes to move the ball down the field against these way overpowered teams. So yeah, we're just going to keep using it until he can show that he can stop it, you know? Why not? There you go, Nelson. Oh, nearly broke that. That would have been amazing. But we're still moving the ball really effectively down the field. We're in field goal position now. It would be a long field goal, but we're definitely moving it pretty effectively. Hopefully, this guy will quit here so that we can get a W. That would be great. So, he didn't quit, but we're still in position here to potentially take a bigger lead here. If we can score here on this drive, that would be great. And Conley, you got to be there again. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on, Nelson. Tell me you got those feet down. Let's go. Touchdown, J.J. Nelson. Big play, baby. No, there's only 14 seconds left, two on the clock. All right, so I thought about going for two here to go up by two full touchdowns, but at the same time, we're still really early in the game, so I don't want to, you know, cause any, you know, problems because I'm probably not going to pick it up. I'm really bad inside the two-yard line. So I'll just take my one point for now, and hopefully we can, you know, keep this 12-point lead and uh, take it all the way to the W, man. So it was a really nice first half for us, guys. We're up 12 going into the second half. We've already scored 24 points. Defensively, we've done really well. The only thing that he's really done is thrown the ball deep over the top once. So uh, as long as we can stop that from happening, I feel like we've got a really good chance to walk away with a win in this game. Oh, nice. Whew. I thought he was going to take off and run there with Breeze. All right, guys. Here comes the pressure. Get the sack. Get the sack. Ah, damn it. Nice play by my opponent there. Pressure didn't get in nearly quick enough. Let's go. Another sack. Dude, our defensive line is just killing him right now. I love it. You going to run here? Nope. More play action. We're covering that shit over the middle. And come on. Oh, my gosh. He still tried to throw it. Double covered in everything. He still tried to throw that post route. That must work for him like every time in other games because he's tried to throw that thing multiple times when I've been right there with my user. My guys are just not good enough to make interceptions. Otherwise, this game wouldn't even be close right now. Third and 20. Yeah, I'm expecting. Come on. You got to be kidding me. I'm right there for it, dude. I was right there for that. You've got to be joking.
Yeah, there we go. Nice. Users are going to make a play eventually. Like, I'm right there for it most of the time. I can't believe how lucky this guy's getting. Really can't believe it. So he's going four wide here now. What is this play? Oh, no. Oh, what a hit. Let's go, man. Oh, my gosh. Third and ten. Cover that shit over the middle. Let's go. The user is there that time, boys. The user is there that time. Nice stop by my opponent there on first down, but it's going to bring up a second down and 10. And if he runs man coverage, we're just going to beat the crap out of him in this game, man. Hold. Oh, uh, you've just got to hold on to it there. All you have to do is hold on to it, man. Come on. All right, here we go, guys. Third and 10. There it is. There it is. JJ Nelson for another first down. Huge pick up there. 13 of 19 now. Still no quit from my opponent. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about that, but, uh, you know, hopefully we can continue to move the ball here on offense at least. Let's go. There it is. Come on, Hightower. There we go. A nice first down. Keeping them honest on defense. That's very, very important right now as we're continuing to try and run the rest of this game out and walk away with the W. And finally, we get the rage quit, guys, <laughs> after that run. My opponent just decided that he was going to sit and uh, take pauses every single time, basically. So good for us that we walk away with the win in this one. I can't believe that we beat this guy, man, considering the team that he had, but I feel very, very good about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I know we used the same play so many, so many times, but I'm telling you guys, like, when you're in a position where your team can't block and you really don't have much for weapons, you basically just have to come up with passing schemes and, you know, run plays and things like that based off of the passing schemes that are going to work. So, I mean, that's what we tried to do there. We do get the W. So that makes us now 3-0 and here in the series. I want to hear from you guys, though. You got to let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to show you one more time the team after we got the update. So we made the upgrade at quarterback. We've got Jason Verrett. Now you guys have to let me know in the comments section below, what do we upgrade next? Again, we're going to get to upgrade anything that we want from either a bronze to a silver, a silver to a gold, or a gold to an elite. The goal is that eventually all of our cards will be an elite. So let me know in the comments section below, guys, what you think. What should we upgrade? Should we upgrade another wide receiver so that we have somebody that's a little bit better? Although I'm really liking JJ Nelson right now. He's making some big plays for us. Should I go maybe with a defensive lineman of some some sort because right now we've got all bronze for defensive line now Zadavier Smith and Johnson were getting in there man they were getting after the quarterback so I don't know if that's the right move maybe we get a second cornerback try to get somebody maybe like move back to a TJ Carey or somebody like that at silver for cornerback I don't know or maybe we go with a middle linebacker is there a silver middle linebacker that's a little bit better for me to use or control somebody that's fast with good agility preferably good tackling attributes but uh, the most important things for me are acceleration speed and agility I think think for uh, a middle linebacker so you guys got to let me know in the comments section below what should we upgrade and uh you know hopefully like i said guys we can continue this this role going forward we're three and oh i'm feeling very very good about it and i hopefully and i hope you guys are enjoying the series because i'm really enjoying it so far so thanks again guys and i will talk to you guys on the next episode Bye bye